Hello, this video will demonstrate how to delete a subplan within PeopleSoft. To learn how to get to this screen, watch the PeopleSoft navigation video within the Blackboard workshop. Before making any changes to a student's program, make sure their status is active in program. Since this is so, we're going to add a new effective dated row. Now that you've added a new row, there are a few fields that you'll want to check. First off is the effective date field. It is important to consider the effective date carefully, as you cannot change the effective date once changes have been made to a student's program. It is best to set the effective date prior to the start of the semester, that way changes can be made up until the start of the semester. Next is the program action field. Since we are changing a student's subplan, the program action field will be plan change, or PLNC. Next is the action reason field. The action reason for student advisors will always be student request, the code for which is STRQ. Next is the requirement term. The requirement term is the catalog year. It is not necessary to change this field. Now we're going to click on the student subplan. Now that we are here, we will want to click view all, that way we know we are removing the correct subplan. Now that we have clicked view all, we'll want to move the mathematic subplan from the student's plan. To do so, you'll have to click the minus icon to delete a row. A delete confirmation window will appear, and you will want to click OK. From here, you will click OK and be taken back to the Academics tab of the Student Services Center for the student that you are viewing. Now that you are here, you will want to check the plan section of the Academics tab to view your changes. If you do not see your changes here, it is possible you may have clicked Cancel or have future dated the effective date. If you have future dated the effective date, you will see the changes here on that date. 